Someone has a question. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tweet about it. Man, you've been giving me a lot of bits. <laughs> yeah, uh, I um, I just like have it on in the background, and I just like click get bits for ads, and I yeah, just leave I it on for a little have bit. That. I can't do that in Canada. I guess it's not a feature yet. But yeah, no, I'm I'm not spending on any of my actual money on that. I'm just being like, okay, yeah, I have this on in the background. And I, I give them to whoever uh, whoever I'm watching that day. And in this case, I haven't really been watching anyone. I'm going to leave the chat, but I'm going to put the messages on a timer since the game is on top of it. Okay, I'm gonna try to see. Serene. Hello, both in voice and in the chat. Mm -hmm. Don't think what I tried to do is working. <laughs> Save the setting. Uh, chat messages should disappear after a few seconds, but oh well. Well, anyway, um, let's actually start. Uh, have you ever seen anything about this game? I know nothing about this game. Nothing aside at from all. what you, nothing aside from what you told <coughs> me while I was staying with you in Montreal. Uh, well, I didn't really tell you much. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about this game at all. Uh, this is Full Throttle. This is a game by uh, Team Schaefer and his team at back when uh, LucasArts uh, was making point-and-click adventure games. Um, this is probably my favorite Team Schaefer game. Uh, and recently they remade it, kind of remixed it. Uh, if I mean, it's just, as I understand, it's the same game. It's just the graphics are a bit prettier. It got the Monkey Island treatment. Yeah, yeah, the same Monkey Island treatment. Uh, Day of the Tentacle got the same treatment. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Grim Fandango got the same treatment. So uh, I have not played that version, but I imagine the puzzles are the same. And I don't think they revoiced the dialogue because that would the dialogue was already perfect. Anyway. Let's start. Whenever I smell asphalt, I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah, when I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan. 
my vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Well, sir, that's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. You know, I've never. I'm so glad we got Mark Hamill. <laughs> but you have business know how and killer instincts. I'm so glad you recognized him. Why? Thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours. Riding up to our shareholders' meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. Already I'm loving the writing. <laughs> Now there go some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who they are. So I will say this, the soundtrack to this game is excellent. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> This is like the exact mix of uh, of like punk and metal that I I absolutely love, like that that really early uh, metal aesthetic where it was still really influenced by hard rock. The, the soundtrack was made for the game. Oh. I'm in love already. <laughs> Also, a uh, fun thing about Mark Hamill in particular, uh, he played um, Majima in the English dub of Yakuza 1. Oh, really? I did not yep. know that. That's a yep. good fit, though. I also did not know there was an English dub. Yeah, the original PlayStation 2 release was dubbed in English, and that is the only Yakuza game that has an English dub. Uh, I imagine they didn't keep that for Kiwami. No, they didn't. They they went with the um, the Japanese redub, where they re-recorded every single line. Oh my god. Yeah, including lines that weren't um, in the original game voiced. Uh, oh, actually, no, now that I think it, that's a lie, there is one Yakuza game that, uh, that does have an English dub. Um, like a North Star. Um, the, uh, or uh, Hokotuga Gotoku? The, um, the Fist of the North Star spin-off that's coming out in a couple of months. Oh yeah, but that's new. Yeah. And that's not technically a Yakuza game. Anyway, probably more dialogue, so I shouldn't talk over <laughs> this. Hey, Ben. Mm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Uh, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> All right. Who's the guy that drove over my car? What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two-by-four. Hmm... An appealing notion, oh, who is that voice improbable. More likely, he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. 
sales pitch? Yes. We have come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish? Rip, burger! That does it. I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Ripburger for a little chat. Excellent idea. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the rot wheelers. The old man says it's the polecats or nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to point out that uh, I just got an achievement called One Final Offer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it will need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer, after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll em, boys! Yahoo! Corbill, here we come! I was half expecting him to pull out a gun when he said, I've got one more final offer for you, and then just shoot him. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> Controls. Alright. Uh. I am using a controller, because you can do that now. Nice! And, hold up. Yeah, I can, I have a button that allows me to switch to the old graphics. I love that. That's... Yeah, all the, all the, um, Double Fine, uh, remasters do this, and it's great. Yeah, they did that with Monkey Island, too. Um, where, and then they had an option where you could keep the redub um, with the, uh, the old graphics. So, we have, like, uh, this is a point-and-click. We always have, like, a bunch of actions we can do. Uh, Give your verb wheel. I've woken up and worse. Now you can punch things. I've touched it enough. Kick. <laughs> Take that. Uh, use... I'm not putting my lips on that. So, this is my favorite action because, uh, I think this is used once in the whole game, and if you use lips on anything else, he will use... He will say, I'm not putting my lips on that. Oh my gosh. I think I remember reading something about this game a long time ago about how, like, this game is really good, but it has one segment in it where it's just good pixel thing hunting. Good didn't touch my bike. Good thing for him. Oh yeah, it has, like, a few of the puzzles uh, are unintuitive. Uh, there's one, I know which part in particular uh, they're referring to, which is really bad. And there's also a couple gameplay segments that... Uh, are bad. <laughs> I don't know how they changed them up in this remake, but they're bad. I'm not putting my lips on that. Yeah, I'm not putting my lips on that. Some Joker took my keys. I don't like that. Yeah, Joker, get <laughs> it? Because, because Mark Hamill. 
Uh, was was the original voice acted, or did they strictly do that for the remaster? Hmm. Oh, this this voice acting is from is from the original. Like this is oh. exactly the same voice track. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah, then that was one hundred percent intentional. Open up. That's how we solve problems I, uh, here. We just kicked down the, the door. door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang took off with those... those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Just walk up to the bartender and give him a big ol' kiss. Where'd everybody head off to? I'm not what putting my lips on director? that. <laughs> you're up on the Lido deck. <laughs> I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? What do you have? I wanna know who knocked me out. Maybe you just passed out. You should learn to handle your liquor. You want something? I'm looking for I mean, he keys. was day drinking. I have no idea what you're talking about. You gonna order something? No. I've never liked nose rings. Me neither, but someone dared me. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, right. Man, I wish they had a jukebox. It's hard enough to play with your fingers. <laughs> play. I mean, that's impressive. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. What's this? It's a big blob. That's not even sure. a player piano. I was taking an art class. This your pit bull? No, nah, that's my baby picture. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Watch it, that's my sister. I'm looking at stuff I've never bothered to look at when I've played. Fifteen guys with towels in their belts? My graduating class from bartending school. There's some bartending school. <laughs> the monitor doesn't have any controls. Yeah, the signal is piped in from Kickstand National Headquarters. Alright, anyway. Ooh, we can look at the register. Hmm. That is an Something actual thing that they do. Ideas. For radio in particular. Hmm. Ah, booze. So, Quahog, uh, the bartender, is not talking to us. How do you think we solve this puzzle? Um, well, I would think you solve it by uh, punching him or kicking him. Maybe taking a chair and uh, using you know it what to might look better on your nose. What? The bar. <laughs> now don't mess around. That with does me. look better. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing. Nothing. Look, man, here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh, someone Great sound did effect. say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there, but why ambush the pole gants? I'd better get moving. Uh, so... I love, I love the face of that guy in the original graphics. <laughs> It is pretty good. Like, I think I think I'm gonna switch to your original graphics every once in a while because like they're even though they're like low res, they're really good at like conveying expressions. Yeah, they are. With a few pixels, like just look at this guy. <laughs> it's pretty good. Like the the remake graphics look nice, but I think there's just a certain charm to the original. Uh, so something that may not be entirely clear to non-native English speakers, particularly non-native English speakers who, um, like, don't have much familiarity with, um, uh, terms from the American South, uh, polecats mean skunks. So they're the skunks. <laughs> yeah. They're the skunks. I'm in 
indestructible. No one can stop me. But they try. Hey! Ain't you the A number one polecat honcho? Yeah, and you're in my way. Well, get no, he's really to not. It, bud. When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the pole cats. Someone's ambushing the pole cats? Oh heavens! Whatever will we do? <laughs> that does it. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. Okay, so this is combat. <laughs> uh, is this right for retribution? Combat is literally just you punch him a lot. They didn't change it at all, I see. <laughs> it's... It, this is just right to hell retribution. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. Right to hell retribution is a lot worse than that. That's true. Sick wheelie. Yeah, so the wheel just fell out. Remember how uh, the bartender said they were going to try to kill him and make it look, making it look like an accident? Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, they, uns they unscrewed his wheel. That is clever. This is devious. Oh. I'd like to make you just one final offer. Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. I have a plan. They had guns. Malcolm. Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now, I have to get you some help, I suppose. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. Man, if I had a nickel for every time I woke up like that... What are you? I would have... <laughs> no nickels. And apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. This an authorized Corley Service Center? Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined, but he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Well, Woof. Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. I gotta get someone out of Someone stole the welding torch. Fast. They've been using it. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? What are you gonna They've say? been using the welding torch to weld everything uh, useful down to the floors that you can't take it and put it in your inventory because they know that this is an adventure game. <laughs> oh, we're gonna we're gonna find all these things, obviously. 
There's going to be an ambush. Ambush? Who's ambushing who? Not sure, but my gang's involved. Oh, who? You better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. <laughs> well, thanks. Don't sweat. <laughs> Persona3.txt <laughs> Getting my hand on your hog? It's a little too well, much. I haven't... Specifically, I haven't touched anything but a toaster. <laughs> Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. You're an adventure game protagonist. Where am I gonna find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new-new, just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. How am I supposed to find Where's your torch? Way? I don't know, set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. I need to step away for just Who's a this? second. Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. It's not you. Oh God, Ben's face in in 2D is just priceless. Like I don't know, there's just something about the way those pixels are making that frown. It's just not the same in HD, you know. All right, there's a gas can here. Wish this gas can was full. We're gonna need that. Oh, good, you're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. Oh, I think I want to wait for uh, Diane to come back for this dialogue. Okay, what I miss? Uh, nothing. I'm, I started a, a um, there was a bit of dialogue that started when you left, uh, where uh, Mo explains that she lived in a mink farm, whatever, whatever that is. She used uh, to live okay. on a farm. And uh, we just got out. We took a um, gas can with us, uh, and we just got out, and outside is the photograph who found her, who found us. I heard you say uh, minks life. are yeah, used for their pelts. Worry. I okay. wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting, and there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Um, I... I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I... I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. I guess we're gonna have to uh, find these items to repair our bike. <gasps> Gers! She lied! Thanks for the lift. 
Now I got a quote for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Mo told us to go see the owner of the junkyard. Forgot his name, Todd. Yeah. Uh, for maybe finding a fork, and she also talked about a tower full of, um... Gas. Gas, yeah, and that's this tower over here. Uh, let's try Todd first. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. Maybe both. <laughs> Lock, but flimsy looking. Who's out there? Hey, I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't got time to waste on. I'm a friend of Moe's. I need. Listen, I didn't take no welding torch. You hear me? I'm no crook. So get off my back already. What do you want? I got a guy coming to look at my yard. So blow. This is important. Not to me, you freaky looking hood. Now beat it. You knock for a reason or you just nuts? Let me in. Ha! Ha ha ha! Good one, punk. So, Get away from my door, how do we solve our problems punk? in uh, the world of Full Throttle? Well, obviously we solve the problem by kicking down the door. Yeah. Alright. Well, that's a problem solved. Not putting this is how I solve that. all of my problems. <laughs> this view defines true beauty. I think he's had enough. I think he's had enough. I'd like to see what the old graphics look like for this, uh, this, this tableau. <laughs> pretty <laughs> good. They look pretty good. Yeah. Alright, well, you know what? Let's get looting. It's either dog food or this guy's dinner. There's some meat in here. Hmm. Meat of unspecified type or origin. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just some meat. That's our inventory. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So it sounded like he took an elevator, which, yep. And that's the basement. I hope he's not trying to bring these to life or anything like that. That would make a good mailbox post in hell. I don't collect art. And I also <laughs> what the hell don't does that mean? Whatever that is. I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. I don't collect art. And I also don't collect whatever that is. Ouch. 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 I don't collect art. And I also don't collect I get it. I get whatever it. that is. Better hustle this back to Mo. <laughs> he looks so proud of himself. That's my welding torch. <laughs> I would be too. Well, he kicked out a know. door. A pair of forks. I love. Gas, I love the way he looks in old graphics. That's pretty good. His smile just. <laughs> All right, so we found the welding torch. Todd had it. Uh, I feel like I forgot something. In uh, in Todd's shack. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I... there's something I need. Couldn't hurt the check. I haven't played in a while, but I remember most of the puzzles, and I'm like, there's something more I need from this check. Oh wait, no, okay. It's, it's in this cabinet. Yeah, there we go, that's what I forgot. Uh, there's a lockpick here. Wouldn't look good on my bike. His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. Alright, so we need that, uh, that lockpick for our next destination. I wonder if he actually knows how to pick locks. 
It's, uh, as it turns out, pretty darn hard. Well, he's a, he's a biker and he's a rebel. Alright, so this is the tower. Tough looking padlock. I couldn't break that lock. I couldn't break that lock. Padlocks are actually usually pretty easy to, to break. They're a hell of a lot easier to break than they are to, to pick. It's open. Right, well, we're gonna pick that. We're gonna take that padlock with us. Obviously, it's not nailed down. Hmm. No. Oh dear. Yes. Uh, it appears we are not uh, invited here. Well, I guess I better get going. Excuse me? Yeah. Oh, didn't I tell you this is the future, by the way? I beg your pardon? <laughs> I get the same fire before you do that. Sorry, boss. I'm not excited. Well, uh, we're not getting in that tower. <laughs> So I guess this is like a Mad Max type future where gas is about as valuable as water is. I'm not sure, honestly. They don't really go into the setting too much. You just see what you see. Hmm. It kind of is a Mad Max setting, but there's a sense that civilization is not completely dead. It's just that region's got a lot of bikers. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is the junkyard. There's a front door. Heavy looking. Open up, Todd. Well, we kind of kicked Todd out, so... <laughs> yeah. I don't think he's doing that. Open up, Todd. Well, that didn't accomplish anything. What's that? There's a chain over here. No, 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 no. Just the door is named Todd. Oh. <laughs> it comes out of it's it's the his junkyard. It goes over that pulley to the other side of the wall. Alright, well... This opens the door. That does not seem very secure. But, well, we can't hold down the chain and get to the door at the same time. Uh, you know what you can do, though? You can lock the chain to something, I think, is what the game is expecting you to do. Ah, uh, do you think I should use the padlock? I, th I think you should use that padlock. Padlock on the chain? That's not something I want a lot. That doesn't work. But you were pretty close. We used the padlock on the door. And then because the door is locked, we can use the chain to just climb. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, junk. Junk. <sighs> Oh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> there he goes! Well, while he's climbing... I love that uh, little music sting, though. It's it's pretty good. Um, I have got to grab my dinner from the oven real quick. Oh, okay. I'm going to wait for you, because there's a scene right there. Okay. Time, maybe I can figure out how to fix my chat and make it actually do what I want it to do. Hmm.
<laughs> Hi, chat. I'm trying to make it so the chat text disappears after a few seconds. I don't really want to have the thing, like, displayed at all times. There we go, that fixed it. Alright. Not quite the design I wanted, but that'll do. <laughs> oh, thank you for the 50 bits. Uh, sorry for the wait. We're waiting for Diane to come back with dinner. Uh, and I don't really want to move up because as soon as I move up uh, a scene will trigger <laughs> okay I'm back all right we didn't move I fixed my chat though now it appears on the stream but the messages disappear after a few seconds all right like excellent. I wanted okay so uh, this may not be obvious but uh, if you look at the pile of junk over here, there's there's a fork. Oh, oh I see. Parts pile. Just the kind of forks I need, right on top. So you know, let's take it. <laughs> Down. Unfortunately, there's a there's an angry pup. Hmm. What do we well. do? No. Oh, I keep thinking that's gonna take me down. But well, yeah. if our solution to this problem is not to kick the dog, because that should never be the solution to this problem, the problem <laughs> is to throw meat at the dog. Yes. I'm gonna take the meat. We're gonna put it in this car. Dog jumps in car. Eats meat. Jumps out, kills me. Right, no, I'm not this car, actually. We gotta go this way. Right. That's the dog. Oh, the dog is after me, great. <laughs> Ooh. You gotta act fast. I like dogs. I don't like this dog, but... Alright, let's try that again. That dog is very angry. Yeah, well, it probably is not very well treated by its owner. Yeah. That's usually why dogs are angry. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna take that meat, put it in the car. Oh, poochie pooch. Pooch. Bon appetit, mud. Okay. Dog is in the car, but as we know, as soon as it's done with the meat, it's gonna jump at us. Naturally. So we so, gotta, so gotta find a way to neutralize the dog. There we go. Man, that dog is strong. Yeah, it's just uh, swinging this car back and forth. Forks. Where'd you find them? <laughs> right next to the knives and spoons. Just gotta gas her up and go. I don't know if I you go back in the shack. I think I need something else. You need to hear this relaxing guitar music for a little longer. <laughs> ah, it's so nice. Oh yeah, there we go. Actually, let's see if I look at the picture. Yeah, that's the picture I looked earlier, and she was explaining that she lived uh, at Uncle Pete's mink ranch, but the ranch was already abandoned a long time ago, so it was just her and her dad. 
Okay. And Ben is uh, hiding it, but we need that hose. Alright, so we got two out of three things. Uh, we got the fork, and we got the welding torch. We just need the gas now. now how are we going to get that? Hmm. Well. This one, when I was a kid, got me stumped a little bit, because you have to think outside the box. In a way, that's not entirely obvious. Well, okay, so we have in our inventory the lockpick, the, um, the hose, and what what is that first thing? A that's, camera? That's a gas can. A gas can, right. Um, I, I don't think you're going to find the answer. Yeah. All right, let's just touch that ladder again. So when we touch the ladder, there's an alarm, and then we have a few seconds to walk away. We're going to walk over here. And hide behind that big cylinder. Ravine, where are you? Hey, where is he? I told you, I nailed him last time. But who set off the alarm for? Maybe someone is just fooling with us. Ah, oh, it's him. It's that guy you keep missing. Well, if you could hold this thing still while I'm shooting, I'm going down for a closer look. I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Yeah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. By the way, this dialogue is very slightly different if you get this the first time. Hmm. You hide the first time, they actually thought about that. That's a neat little touch. Yeah. So, they're up in the tower now, uh, and they left their vehicle behind. I'd oh, of course. Well, uh, let's do something very illegal and bad. Well, we're the protagonist, so in actuality, it's very illegal and good. So he uh, is putting his mouth on that. Who's that down there in My the yard? It's him. Get him. Where? Over there. Quick. <laughs> you go around the other side and we'll have him cornered. He's spilling gas everywhere, Ben. Let's oh call my God. Police, huh, boss? No. Let's call on reinforcements. <clears throat> oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. I'm working on a surprise. I hate surprises. All right, here she comes. <laughs> Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should yeah. crash that thing every yeah, day. Yeah, she is cool. So what's the <laughs> surprise? Oh, just your average, everyday, pre-regulation, destroyer-class, solid-fuel recoil booster? You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you gonna try this thing out or not? Ooh-wee. Wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. <laughs> Fire on the thing. <laughs> All right, look lively. He's a sneaky one. This time he ain't getting past us. See him? No. Keep looking. All right, so we're not quite done with this place yet because the police is looking for us now. Hmm. Because of the gas we took. 
Uh, funny thing about that scene where you take out the gas with the pipe. Um, I was at my aunt's once, and I was playing that game on her computer, and she saw me play that. My aunt, my Catholic aunt, and she saw that, and she was like, You shouldn't be playing this game! <laughs> <laughs> this game has a lot of immoral things. <laughs> what do you mean you're being murdered? They can't do that, that's illegal! <laughs> No, she was very shocked at at the game teaching me to siphon gas out of a out of a vehicle. It was it was like, oh my god, this game is teaching uh, kids how to do illegal things. I mean, siphoning gas in itself is not illegal. It's just siphoning gas without consent of the vehicle owner well, is. Anyway, uh, we're just we're just gonna set off the alarm again so that the cops come back here. <laughs> Back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All units, follow me. And now we can just sneak past them. Later, nerds. <laughs> Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket Cause I'd had a tank full when she blow my gasket, I surely was thankful Till I head for the skies up above It's a woman with wheels that I love yeah. Come on, old man, I got ya Now, do something incriminate, like ambush somebody Oh, you're wasting all your film. <laughs> Only you had a video camera. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No, Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right, but don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm, how about one for the road? Corley? Corley? Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when he looking pretty good down. <laughs> Rip Berger did this to you. Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Minivans! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah, and she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt her first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the Hmm, I wonder dynamo. who... <coughs> Find my daughter, he, Ben. He could be Find referring Marie. to. Well, they're, <laughs> they're not keeping Marie? that secret very long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so proud of himself. Rip Berger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why do you bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors. Nestor. What's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. 
Yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Mo's shack, but I don't see the limo. Maybe I beat the thing. On second thought, maybe I didn't. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. Alright, let's go to the mink ranch. Yeah, you know, you, you know where that is. Not sure. It's easy to we find. We all know... We all know where Uncle Pete's mink ranch is. It's a famous landmark. for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. I guess the police found, uh, Coralie's body. Yeah. Yeah. So instead, we're gonna go the other way. Back here. This sucker's mine. <laughs> Look, I really need a ride. Don't think there's anyone in the truck then. Kinda hard hey, to tell. Killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight, Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you, I don't want to get involved. Man, this this guy is, uh... Really bad at this. <laughs> well, he loves his knife. Of course he's named Emmett. Does that, uh, is that a reference to something? No, no, it's just... Not that is... Gonna let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do this that. This is just like, Not I don't know, it seems like... Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. <laughs> seems like it's not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. You say that. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Only if it'll shut you up. Hmm. Alright, minigame! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so Ben shows you how to do it first, and then you gotta do it as fast as you can. I'm not very good at it. Cool. 
Well, there you go. That's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look happy. See it's a good way to wreck your table man. and your knife. Not to mention Nixon's scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? It doesn't accomplish anything. This is literally just an Easter egg. That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around, said police business only. Pigs. Look, I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. <laughs> I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, all right? The customer with the knife is always right. <laughs> good talking to you. Friendly folks you get in here. Em, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your home, Quahog. So I've never heard anyone called Quahog ever before. Yeah, me neither. Is that a name? Is that what his parents called him? I guess it must be. Psst. Someone's beatboxing hey. back here. No time to talk. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? <laughs> yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They'd kill me. Get my editor. He's gotta get me out of this. Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. My career is riding on those pictures. Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. He's got a lot of fake oh, IDs. Oh, don't worry. That's that's cute. Ben? Oh yeah, no, that's that's um oh, okay. Resume. Oh. That is specifically a, a reference to um the I first Star Wars one. movie. Okay. If Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then who's got the film? Oh, and I just got an achievement called A New Hope. That's cute. Is the the I don't re why is that a Star Wars reference? Uh, it, it's one of the first lines spoken, um, by, uh, Princess Leia. Oh, right, you're my only hope, right, okay. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope, and then Luke is like, Who's Obi-Wan Kenobi? I used to know a Ben Kenobi. Hmm, you're right, right. I haven't seen that movie in so long. Anyway, let's give the, the pass to this guy. Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Don't stab it. Over here at this place, Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. I remember it used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway 9 on the other side yeah, of the Yeah, close enough, I guess. Blocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> that was a good scam. So, how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. <sighs> Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine I mean... compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Man, his bike is gonna smell like for years after that. Yeah. Oh great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. Mm. 
Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles be on this point. I'm with the feds, Chunk. Check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? As you do. All right, move along. <laughs> Hope you rude get your man. And the cop bought it real quick. <laughs> With your truck? Yeah, <laughs> loose holes, uh, nothing big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road, you know. Uh oh. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. No, our bike. That trucker's gonna what? die for what he did. Won't work without a fuel line. Well, we're kind of stuck there, I guess. The barn's locked. The barn's locked. Couldn't break that lock. But you can probably pick it. Oh, we don't have the lock pick anymore. Anything. Ah. I don't know why he got rid of it. Uh, but there's a there's a tire iron under the pillow. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Sure, you know, that's where you keep it. Junk and a hose I can use on my bike. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. Mo? There she go. Anyway, it seems like Emmett would be better suited for um, for Bali song knife tricks instead of doing that that knife thing with the, the hand. She took my booster fuel. Mo did actually uh, notice Ben's bike and took the booster fuel. She, she uh, think the whole installed. against her. Whoops! I think I know how that feels. That does it. He's dead. That sign. That means I'm in cave fish territory. Cave fish. Anyway, the Bali Sun tricks are actually fairly easy to do. And they look cool as hell. That's a, uh, a butterfly knife. <laughs> he looks proud of himself. <laughs> he sure does. He's not gonna for very long. Yeah. The cavefish look weird. They sure do. Is worthless. We have been tricked, my brothers. Back to the cave. Hmm. The place looks deserted. 
Maybe the boss was wrong and she ain't coming here. She's coming. We just got here first. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. Alright, so... Um... Let's go this way first. This is the start of a, a whole bunch of... Um, a whole sequence of things we're gonna have to solve. Looks like we've also got some bike controls here. Yeah, so we have bike controls and we actually can control where we go. There's an There was an exit here that I uh, avoided to uh, the mine road. Uh, and we're gonna go there shortly. But we have... We're gonna take a look at that bridge that just blew up. I like how the game uh, labels it as X Bridge. <laughs> Something tells me the bridge is out. <laughs> No. But is he going to put his mouth on that? Uh, let me try. I'm not putting my lips on that. Nope. Uh, should've known. Not, not putting my lips on that. Professor Schmetterling's experimental flying suit. One of the gorge's many casualties. This is the last picture ever taken of Professor Schmetterling. Notice, jumping the Poyahoga Gorge, although tempting, is highly illegal and dangerous. We recommend the recently constructed Poyahoga Gorge Bridge for transgorge travel. Drive safely. Tightrope walkers, hang gliders, human cannonballs. Many have tried to cross the mighty Poyahoga Gorge, and many have failed. Except for Ricky Myron, the Flying Torch, who jumped the gorge on a stock Corley motorcycle. It was later uncovered that he had modified his Corley with a pre-regulation destroyer-class solid fuel recoil booster and an automotive hover lift. Myron said he would gladly replicate the jump to clear his name but his special ramp was stolen by a mysterious truck hijacking motorcycle gang. Hmm. Recoil booster and a hover lift, eh? Thanks for the tip, Rick. You're right, though. I'll need that ramp. All right, so did you get all that? I sure did. We need, uh, we need that booster again, that fuel booster. Uh, we need that ramp, and we need uh, an automotive, um, the hover thing. Um, we're gonna do these, uh, in whichever order I feel is fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't uh, seem like it gives you a specific order to do there's them no, There's in. no real specific order, uh, to do these things. Uh, we're just gonna go back to the, the wreck of the truck. Take a little. I'll take a little bit of that fertilizer. <laughs> As you do. Yeah, this is an adventure game. Gotta take everything. A lot of weight on those babies. Well, ah, in this all. case, you do take Thinking something that is bolted that down. Mm -hmm. Bolts. You may be puzzled as to what we're doing here. Um, and I guess I didn't really show the clues to what that does. So, what I didn't show is that if you go through here without stopping, you see a little scene of the bike going through the, um, the fertilizer, and then it just floats in the air a bit, like a cloud of fertilizer forms for a few seconds. What a mess. Ah, okay. Right. And if you remember, at the Mink Ranch, uh, Rip Burger's go uh, goons are there. 
and they have a I car. I do remember. They have a hover okay. car. Okay. So you might you might see where this is going. <laughs> Look at him run. I mean, not really running so much as driving, but you know. No, he's running away. He's afraid, obviously. It was Nestor's fault. Get in quick. I have a plan. We're going to lure the Corley running out of hiding with a bike. Ross, she already has a bike. Yes, but this one she worked on with her father. It's an emotional thing. Don't try to understand. Now hurry. Well, that takes care of that. So that just leaves the uh, the boost drive and the ramp. Well, we have to get back to the wreck of their car to get the uh, the hover thing. I love this unnecessarily tense music. <laughs> now there's one thing I've never needed. Your car. I don't touch a anything without wheels. We're gonna be using this tire iron a lot. It's a single hover lift unit. Looks okay for an aftermarket part. Yeah, that's all you gotta do to install that. You just gotta bend over and kinda look at it like, oh, what am I doing over here? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so... We, we passed through that mine road a bunch of times. Let's actually go there this time. Now the mine road is very special uh, because that's where all the combat in the game happens. Oh good. Uh, yeah, we've seen one combat scene and now there's going to be all the combat. Father Tor. I haven't seen you since you retired from the Polecats. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Can you retire from That's my gang? That's a long story. I guess so. What are you doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, Ben. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? That's what the old mine road's for, son. Father Tork, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the Polecats anymore. You are. Can't you see I'm on permanent vacation? Any fighting tips, Tork? Ah, Ben, who's tougher than you? Nobody, but those rod wheelers are uglier. They're none too bright either. I'm sure you can handle them. The vultures are quick, and they're nuts. The ones with those boosters are hard to whip, 
Just remember, Ben. It's not about muscle. It's about timing. Basically, he's giving us tips on how to defeat each uh, biker gang. Okay. What's up with those cave fish, man? Watch out, Ben. They're not out here for sport. They hijack big rigs. It's part of their religion. Don't get in their way. They're blind, cold-hearted killers. How do the cave fish ride if they're blind? Well, they're only blind because they wear those special goggles to shield their sensitive cave-dwelling eyes. Special sensors in the goggles pick up the dots in the road and other large objects and landmarks to help them navigate. <laughs> kind of trippy, huh? You know any way around Boyahoga Gorge? Around it? <laughs> it's miles and miles long, Ben. What's the matter? Don't like bridges? It blew up. Ooh, sorry I missed that. The gorge or the well, bridge? Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Cave fish got his ramp in their hideout, you know. Where is the cave fish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible, unless you got those weird cave fish specs. Can't talk anymore, Ben. Eating too many bugs. Well, take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. Alright, so we need to find the Polecat hideout, because that's where the ramp is. And we need to get goggles from them. Uh, so we need to pick a fight. We need to pick a fight. Well, one of them. So the way this is gonna work is that, um... Oh boy. Yeah, the combat system is just janky as hell. Um... Each goon... What are you talking about? This looks great! <laughs> this is such a mess. So some of the goons you can just wail on them, and then you take their weapon. Uh, but then some goons are gonna require very specific weapons to take them out. And that's the puzzle is basically to figure out how to beat up each one. Oh, it's it's the Swordmaster quest from uh, Monkey Island. <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually played Monkey Island. Uh, we should is play that, that next after we are done with this. Yeah. Why? Yes, it is. Ta-da! <laughs> All right. So this guy has a recoil booster. We want that. But every time we're going to pick a fight with him, he's going to boost away. Hmm. Uh, we can try attacking the, the cavefish, but... Uh, Don't have the right weapon, I guess. Yeah, if you if you bump their bike, you can see there's some, like, they, they release some oil. Uh, he got me. Wasted. <laughs> yeah, we don't oh, have the no, right weapon fine. yet. Oh, it's that guy again. What's wrong? Lead divers? <laughs> piece of dialogue. That should have a couple of good boosts, Lieutenant. Alright, well, we got him. With the, the <laughs> chain. We whipped him, just like Father Torque said. Out a lot of pain. Ah, yeah. oh, goddamn! There's no trick for this guy. You actually have to uh, hit him enough times, and we need his weapon, unfortunately. No, nope, that's not it. In the original, there was a button to skip a fight if. Oh, also, that's the graphics for, uh... That's, it actually looks pretty decent for a DOS game. Yeah. It was, um... It was a Scum VM game, which is, uh, the engine that LucasArts was using at the time for, um, all their games. 
Yeah. A scum. Yeah. No, I, I said scum. It was a scum game. Scum VM is the scum virtual machine because I'm silly. Yeah. You like choppers, huh? How about this chopper? Oh sh <laughs> Watch out! She's got a chainsaw. You're firewood, chum. I like how her voice was compressed yeah. in the original. Yeah. yeah, I think they restored the voices a little bit. You'll be fine. People get hit by chainsaws and live all the time. Yeah, I didn't handle that very well. I keep getting this guy. Yeah, I remember in the original, I think you just pressed escape and you could skip that fight, like it would just take you out of the scene. Instantly, I can't seem to find that button on this, so maybe they didn't think to uh, keep that. Well, that's nice that they kept the master recordings around. Mm -hmm. Responding to the chat if you don't have that open. No, I have that open. Good. Okay, let's Time for the final exam. I feel like I've heard this voice actor in another, uh, another LucasArts game as well. Come on. Ah! Alright, I think we need that chainsaw. This this part probably one of the part that will take you the longest because like I don't know it's not very well <laughs> programmed. Yeah, this seems kind of like a slog. It's just for it's a just lot the, like the the battle system is barely a system. You just click and click a bunch of the attack button and hope that it goes well. You know. I still can't do anything about that guy, by the way. Except lose as fast as possible. Yeah, I need to, like, get a different weapon. I wish the game would stop giving me the cave fish. Oh, come on, give me the chainsaw chick. Alright, I'll give this one a try. Back again. Listen, so Time for the final Don't you want to hear this voice clip over and over again? No. It was actually a different voice clip, though. Oh, come on. I also don't know. I think the whatever biker appears in front of you is completely random. Which is yeah, not. Yeah, it seems it. It's not helpful because you need, like, to get specific bikers to get other specific bikers. Like, I'm pretty sure you can get that guy if you just hit him a lot, but you can also like get. That. You can get the chainsaw and it's easier. It was like that in Monkey Island, too, where you had to, like, farm fighting pirates to to learn about sword fighting. This guy again. Yeah, in the original you could skip fights, that's the thing. I don't know why the... it's not in here. What is really wild to me is that... Um... Ben... Uh, ben has to pick up his, uh, his motorcycle every time he gets knocked over. This guy is, doesn't give you anything, so like getting him is pointless. And like he ha he has to lift up his motorcycle every time he gets knocked over, and that motorcycle has to weigh at least 600 pounds. Ben, ben is a very uh, buff, tough guy. A holding circle doesn't skip the fight. Let's just start now. Select no. None of the buttons I have actually skip the fight. It's nice that it recognizes the tool shot for at least. Oh yeah. A lot of a lot of games have been doing that. Uh, 
Mm, yeah, right. it's um, it's nice. Oh, this guy's different. <laughs> Cute tattoo. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a Star Wars tattoo. Damn, I'm just losing to all of them. Uh, the green thing is the fertilizer that we picked up. Which is used for against one biker specifically. Who's that? Wow, are you really a polecat? Yes, I am. Well, I hate polecats. <laughs> oh, she doesn't give anything. She gives you a sense of guilt. <laughs> Why? Well, I mean, like, you know, you just ran, ran up to her and just started punching her. This is the like, mine road. People come I here mean, to get punched. Fair. Ben is an equal opportunity puncher. <laughs> now I'm a man. Oh, you're a man. You're gonna die now. This time you're gonna stick. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Ah. Unfortunate. Yeah, I just really want the game to give me the the chainsaw chick. If I get chainsaw ID, this this'll be over. Duck him. I'm just gonna switch the graphics so that we get something else to see. I mean, this part looks pretty good for the time. Hell yeah, I was impressed. It was like, look, it's all 3D. Back again? Good. Okay, lesson's over. Time for the final exam! I already had the final exam last time. These are some good ass voice clips. <laughs> yeah. Damn it! Like two hits and it gets me down. Yeah, Meanwhile, just... he's taken a tire iron to the forehead at least like twelve times, uh, and he's just fine. Yeah, we we okay. You know what? I'm just gonna leave the road. Come back. Maybe maybe that'll make a uh, chainsaw chick spawn. Oh god, what's happening with the music? That's not normal. That's the game glitching. That was very well, it seems to have, seems to have fixed itself at least. Yeah, that was very strange. I thought it was maybe the the old graphics that had problems, but no, the soundtrack was just weird. You again? Back again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If I keep my distance and hit him and he's done this. Maybe. Anyway, that voice clip is like dueling from Shenmue 2 levels of good. Oh. Let me, let me, t help me carry that box to the other side of this room. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Alright, that's enough of that for me. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of mad at the game because I've never spent that much time on that section before. It's oh, because oh, you're it's on the camera. chainsaw. It's a chainsaw chick. Okay. 
back for more. Oh, there we go. We used the uh, the fertilizer on her and makes her blind, and she fell falls, and then we get the chainsaw. I'm not usually in the business of recommending other people's LPs while I'm on someone else's streams, but um, super great. If you want to, yeah, super great friend did an LP of um, of Shenmue too. With, yeah. Uh, I watched and, it. And he he highlighted those voice clips. Just someone in the chat was asking about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can use the chainsaw. I have to be careful. We can use the chainsaw against them, but if we do that... They actually blow themselves up. That's a hell of a way to go. Yeah, and we don't want that. We want their their goggles. So the chainsaw doesn't work on that. I mean, it works, but it's not what we want. All right, it's this guy now. Back I got a again. chainsaw this time. He just goes down in one hit. <laughs> And we got a, a plank. Yeah, that's the next part of the trading sequence. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess that's one way to refer to this. Yeah, it's the it's the Begorn sword quest. This is how you get the boomerang. I've heard this taunts enough times, alright? Alright, so, now, we have the plank. What we need to do... That's not the plank. Oh my god, game, are you serious? It's totally a plank. That's the chain. That's the chainsaw. That's the chainsaw? <laughs> oh <my laughs> what? God. Oh my god, this version is glitchy! What is this? This is incredible is what this is. No, that's the chainsaw! What the hell? Give me the plank! Is, is that... Okay, that... That was the plank. But the graphics <laughs> decided to show the chainsaw. Wow, this version is buggy. Weird. That literally never happened in the original. So, uh, we, yeah, we bumped him on the head, and, uh, we have the goggles now, which I should have equipped before this fight happened. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, we have the goggles now. Um, so it'll tell us when there's an exit. And pay attention to the little message at the bottom left. Any time now. So how's your week been? <laughs> I don't know, pretty slow. I went back to work. I didn't do much. There wasn't much yeah. to do. I'd ask about that, but I mean, you can't really talk about that on yeah. stream because NDAs. Yeah. Exit. Exit. Oh, okay. It's like literally right after an exit, so if you, if you miss it, it's easy to miss. Switch to the older graphics. Yeah, we've gone through the hex values uh, at least one full time.
So I had to get my blood drawn again. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, um, it turns out, like, I needed a couple of blood tests for, like, this medical thing that I'm doing, uh, in a week and a half at this point. Oh, there you know we go. about that. Oh, okay. Oh, dope. Oh, it, you removed the glasses. I pressed the wrong button. Good job. Oh, man. no. But yeah, it said exit, exit, and then cave. And when it says cave, that's when you, uh, you go. Back for more? Let's chop you down and catch That's very way. silly. Yeah, it's... Okay, let's put on... Let's glasses this back. I'm... I pressed the wrong button because I'm silly. Whoops. Uh, so I guess we're doing that again. <laughs> Fun. I... Uh, anyway, um... Exit, exit. Okay. It's not that one. Um... Anyway, though, um, I had to get my blood drawn for this medical thing that I'm doing in, like, a week and a half. You know about that. I'm not talking about that on stream. Mm -hmm. Uh, for reasons. Uh, but... Um... They needed to get my blood type, my RH factor, and an antibody screen because I'm probably going to need a transfusion for this uh, this medical thing. Really? Mm-hmm. And uh, they s s got my blood type screened and the RH factor screened, but they did not get the antibody screen, so I had to go in and get my blood drawn again. So that was fun. This is something that, like, I've been working on, like, getting covered, uh, for the better part of, like, two or three years, so it's always fun to have a thing come up at the last possible minute and be like, hey, there's a problem. Yeah, that sucks. I would, however, like to do uh, one last round of Werewolf before um, before going under the knife, so to speak. It'd be cool to get you on the table again. It's been a minute since you've been on Werewolf. Yeah, it's been a little while. I kind of fell out of interest, I guess. That's fair. But there's, like, so many new things that Pulavoku added to the game that I gotta try it out. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Alright, we found the cave. Oh, I did not mean to get off the bike. No. I'm loving these middies. <laughs> Everything about these guys is creepy. Property of the Ricky Myron Traveling Stunt Show. Oh, we found the ramp. So did you see it? The ramp um, slid that way, and one of the little dots on the ground uh, flew out. Hmm. That's I a, did not see that. That's a, It's really easy to miss it, but uh, that's a clue, actually. If you remember, Father Torque told us uh, they're blind. The the cavefish are blind, but mm -hmm. their glasses pick up the dots on the road, and that's how they guide themselves. And that's important because. As soon as we leave, uh, they're gonna go after us, and they're gonna try to get back that ramp. So, uh, we can't actually, uh, let them do that. We gotta cover our tracks. Because we remo removed the dots from that turn, well, they just call fallen down there. Oh my god. They're dead. Yeah, a little bit. I'm done with these boys. Alright, so that's, uh... That's it. We got the three ingredients. We got the, uh, the booster, uh, the hover motor, and the ramp. It's time to do this thing.
For someone who has something so urgent to take care of, he sure is taking his time to get back to this bike. Look, look, he's cool. Alright, he's gotta be cool. Fair. As a punk myself, like, yeah, I identify with that. Alright, I've modified my bike enough. So freaking dangerous. Yeah. Loving this Metal Gear Solid ass soundtrack. Ooh. The Corley Motors factory. We're right. Holy ground. Holy ground. We arrived at Corley Motors. I'm here for the shareholders meeting. Mr. Ripperger has postponed the meeting until Mr. Corley's murderers are apprehended. All the shareholders were notified. Yeah. Well, I haven't checked my voicemail lately, Mac. We're not getting in there. Uh, so this is another sort of set piece where we're gonna have to do a bunch of stuff. First... Whoops. Oh yeah, we can go behind the factory in this, this place. There's not really anything we can do there yet. I want to get back to my bike. I'm gonna go this way. side of this field. I've heard a lot about the vultures. And I guess it's all true. So, um, yeah, there's a minefield. Buff. I actually don't remember. I'm gonna save. Because I don't think you can die in this game. Ex oh, no, I don't want to quit, actually. I don't think you can die except in a very specific situation. I don't want to set off any of these boys. Yeah, okay, he just doesn't want to go there. Hmm. Yeah. Well, let's leave. This is kind of contact Gray Fox to tell us where to find a mine detector. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have a, a fan. Let's check out what's this way. Looks like something big's going on in there. Stream buffering is this way for me. Oh, is our you... here? We got your yeah, my internet is getting uh, kind of wonky. So we got it all right here. Official oh. Corley Motors merchandise. Doesn't seem to be on my end. To be better. Let's talk to this guy. It's Horus. <clears throat> Drive your own derby car by remote control. Our bunnies come with batteries included. Lovable, lovable little bunnies. The <clears throat> what can I get you? Why are all the lights down here? We got a demolition derby tonight. First prize is a vintage curly hardtail, completely restored by the old man himself. Yep. 
What's this big arena doing way out here? Carly built the Smashatorium so his employees could have some wholesome entertainment nearby. He sure took care of his employees. I got no idea what's gonna happen to us now that he's gone. I'm looking for a good souvenir. Well, good souvenirs is all I got. What can I fix you up with? Something small, furry, and yellow. Sorry, this is the only set of teeth I got. <laughs> oh, wow. Dang, there goes another one. How about that little oh. card there? It's small, it but looks it's not like cheap, I am getting less you than better than get taken for a test drive. Make sure. Oh no. Am I losing it? Yeah, unfortunately. We might have to finish this up next week. Okay, do you want to take a break? This is, at, uh, like, the halfway point of the game, kind of. Yeah, this this seems like um, a Actually, decent enough stopping point. It. Not the stopping hey, point I wanted, but, I mean, it's the stopping okay. point that uh, Comcast is kind of forcing me to take right now. Yeah, Better we're going to take a break to here, then. All right, matey. We got your t-shirts here! Well, I'm enjoying it so far, and I'm oh, definitely yeah. looking forward to finishing this up. You're getting robot now. Yep. Right. There it is. Well, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here, everyone. And I'm... I'm eager to show you the rest of this game, because it only gets better from here. Thank you for having Diane, bot. <laughs> I love this game so much, and, uh, I love showing it to people. Alright, good night everyone. Good night.